So tell me then, Greg, what is, what was the major capital spend for you guys to take this previously subcontracted part of the production set? Production process to bring more house. Well, it was really all down to control. Your know, legacy. Whenever we put this in was three years ago. Mm -hmm. So we were at the in the middle of the COVID flu. Yeah. And our suppliers were busy. We were busy. Mm -hmm. It was just man. Yeah. Getting 100, 150 doors up and down the road uh, every day or yeah. every week. With basically a van on full time. With yeah, a van yeah. on full time. And one of the biggest problems was if anything came back and got a check, but it's only natural yeah. accidents are going to happen when it's at the volume. If anything happened to the door, we couldn't do anything about it. Mm -hmm. if, a customer, if a door came in late, we got a prep, we got it through the system, we got up the paint shop, they were that busy, they couldn't squeeze things through any quicker for us. So we had no control, we were at, we were at their mercy. And it was no fault of theirs, everybody was busy. Mm. It just wasn't working. So it was something when we first moved into these premises that we talked about but really being that busy and having that volume going through sort of yeah. pushed us to make that decision we talked to regal ed locks about paint mm -hmm. we understood where we wanted to go with the paint and um, we've done a lot of work with schubert's on this location with the building up outside for yeah. where we were going to house it so a lot of that work has been done in the process we've been up to schubert's uh, tentacle yeah department pest center, pest center yeah. sorry We'd seen that, and again, we'd understood what we wanted to do with it. And once we started to offer painted freedoms, we just found trying to put all those components out, trying to get all those components yeah. back, trying to get beads back, painted mm. trims back, painted copper trims back, painted, all those things, it was just so difficult. So we just, it was a natural move for us to make it, yeah. to make the paint shop come in house. And since we've done that, you know, when we did it at the start, we didn't bring stains in house. Yeah. We left them out. But now we all do all our own stain ourselves. Like I said, we do all the paint with the frames. Yeah. Everything we've got textured paint, we've got smooth paints, we've got standard paint on the green finishes. So have it in house that's just be a lot more flexible than we can do what we can offer our customers. And of course I imagine that as a value adding part of a door set in terms of pull out being able to personalize I think it's a great way to add margin and retain that margin oh yes that. definitely yeah once, once you're once you're sort of farming that work out there's no real margin in it yeah and um, to, to pass that on to the customer again so any anything we were charged for a painting service is going to be at the subcontract yeah. tracker bringing that in house yes it's invested back into business again yeah. so there's, there's obviously a cost there's there's the manpower there's the, the capex all the rest but you are able to generate a bit more to back in the business. So where do you see yourself growing to in terms of volume and painted doors and how, how do you feel that we can assist you then in the that growth? Well, like I said, we, we're sort of 150 to 170 a week with the, um, with the 80% of that going through the paint shop. We've got yeah. a new beam saw coming, mm -hmm. so our view is we want to increase the volume. Yeah. Um, the way we make a door here, it's very important to us that the door goes out right. Yeah. We do one map build and we're great and hanging. Uh, everything, the way we want a door to go out is the way that I would want it in the old house. Yeah. So it's not about pushing numbers through and just firing them out through the factory. So it's a stage level level of increase that we want the growth. We are preparing for that with the beam saw. As far as the shoe box goes and the spray facility, um, we believe there's capacity in it. But should we get the position where we need to increase the size, it is modular. Mm -hmm. So we can yeah. we can make it bigger. We're not gonna have to scrap it and stop. Mm -hmm. It can grow with us. Yeah. And that was another big attraction for us in Vandas. Yeah.